this form starts coming into play. And, ba and this is basically character design right here. Is that once you start filling out these pieces, you can always go back. And I'll get it a little bit thicker, which I should have done earlier. It, and from here, you can not only you can give it a consistent structure, but the advantage of this is that you not only draw the character consistently this way, but by breaking characters down into shapes, you can also um, consistently draw your character in a variety of poses and the character will always remain recognizable, it'll always remain proportional. And the the thinking behind this is that the more consistent that you present your character, the more believable it comes. It doesn't matter how outlandish the character is. It always works out really well as an example. You know, whoever thought Something like this would become the most popular character on television today. <laughs> but you can see, this is all very simple shapes. And I know I'm going to be a little bit off because it's been a while since I've drawn this character. And it's not even my character, but you guys okay? And this is, this, is a freehand, this is a freehand head drawing. It's not that good, only because I probably didn't work out the shapes. But even the ones that uh, that will go ahead and free your hand this stuff is that they're projecting the shapes automatically. But the idea to go ahead and finesse this drawing is that start you know looking looking for the overall shapes that you see within here. All right. Uh, usually triangles work out very well for noses. Combination of, of circles and crescents will work out for for eyes. And there's no set shape to any particular body part. And you, the idea is that you, you try to find uh, try to find the forms within it to get the look that you're that you want out of your character. Hair is a is probably another thing. Hair, everyone knows it's just strands, but if you can kind of view hair as not individual strands but clumps, and then just draw one or two strands to bring that out. So just go through and give it a, a little bit more of a nuanced shape. What I should probably do is go ahead and start using the color marker.